the message has to go from the top that corruption will not be tolerated anymore so we took several steps for instance we started the sting operations we told everyone every citizen that now if anyone asks you for a bribe don't say no immediately put your hand inside your pocket you have a mobile phone and put the audio recording on and when he's asking you for a bribe just put the audio recording on bring it to me and we will put that guy behind bars we put only five officers behind bars and the message across the city was that the officers were now scared of asking anyone for a bribe because they just didn't know who will record their voice and that brought down corruption levels very substantially in urban areas you can still survive even if there's corruption in rural areas it's a matter of survival for them if there is huge amount of corruption many farmers are committing suicide because of corruption you say you don't want to be prime minister so what do you represent are you just the catalyst I represent a common man but are you just the catalyst <coughs> one who starts things and then moves on i'm uh, doing my duty i'm trying to get all the good people in the country together i'm approaching many people across the country and i'm telling them that look if we all don't come together then this country will not exist this country will not survive that is my job that is my mission so you say the country will not survive what what do you mean by that what's going to happen it will just break you see now today there is so much of corruption and because of corruption all the communal rights that take place in a country it is the politicians who are behind each communal right and why do they make that they want muslims one party creates muslims as their vote banks another party wants to make hindus as their vote banks so they create poison in the minds of the people and they create communal rights are you an anarchist the home minister was sleeping very peacefully suddenly we came into picture and we have created an anarchy in his house so yes i am an anarchist for all those people who are misusing the system so really that's your goal is about shaking india up shaking the entire system what is your vision for india what kind of country would you like it to be not just in itself but in terms of its image to the rest of the world indians are first class people who are suffering because of third class governance who are victims of third class governance indians are very intelligent they are peace loving and they are very good people but we have atrocious governance systems so i think we need to change our governance system and if we had good today indians if we go abroad if we go to america if we go to london indians shine in their areas they are at the top in almost all the areas but in their own country they are not allowed to prosper they are not allowed to do anything we have to change the systems we have to create it systems wherein people can shine in business people can shine in trade people can shine in research people can shine in all these areas and that can happen if we put the right kind of systems in place my job is if we can all get together and redefine our governance systems in this country so that the india can shine